Andre, huge congratulations. Uh, it was a, a real headline first round. You and Dominic going up against each other. Such a hot day. You must be delighted to come through in straight sets. Uh, how did you see the match? Uh, yeah, I mean, first of all, I'm happy that I was able to win in the straight sets. And uh, then, I mean, when you, when you see that you have to play against Dominic, it's never easy. Plus, we are really good friends. And uh, I know that he's uh, going through not easy time, so I just want to wish him all the best. That he, uh, to wish him to come back on uh, the same level that he belongs as fast as possible. And yeah, like you said, it's super hot today, so I'm really happy that I was able to win uh, in, straight, uh, in a straight sets and to save some energy for the next match. We won't keep you out too long. It's extremely hot out here on court, but just talk us through how tough is it in these conditions, you know, physically, but also mentally, emotionally, to think clearly and, and play your best tennis. Yeah, it's true. I'm, uh, as more hot it, it is, it's uh, tougher to think, to take the right decisions, and uh, tougher to move because you feel you start to feel exhausted faster. And uh, but uh, when you start to think that the other guy he feels the same, it's a bit easier. <laughs> so in the end, we're in in the same conditions. Uh, if I feel tough, for sure he also feel the same. So that helps a lot. And then you just try to do your best. 2023, a new season. You six times a, a Grand Slam quarter finalist. How big a goal are the, the Grand Slams for you this year to, to go a step further and maybe even to a, a first final or try and win one? I don't know. We'll see. Well, one more match and I go home. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, it's hot. You need to recover. Well done. You're into the second round. Keep going and uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, I'm sure the answer to that question is that he's desperate to proceed beyond the quarterfinal. Six times he's been there looking for a spot in the semis and beyond at a Grand Slam. It has to be high on the agenda for Andre Rublev in 2023. Please stay around and sign some autographs, which uh, is nice to see considering he doesn't look 100% comfortable still, Mark. And, uh, and it's really heating up outside.